So I've been called out to a job this morning and what's been happening is so the RCD was tripping and causing everything here to trip and lose all the sockets, etc. And this board was only up, upgraded uh, uh, less than a year ago. It certainly wouldn't have been my choice to have, uh, well, would have been fitting RCBOs, but anyway. So basically, um, I've located the fault to here simply by turning all the uh, all of the breakers off and then turn them on one by one and it turns out that it's the socket one that's at fault. What I've done, I turned everything back on and I went around with my tester and I checked every socket and I've worked out there's a ring circuit on the end of the bungalow and it's that ring that the faulty sockets, that these this ring is those sockets down there. I can only locate about six or seven sockets. It's in a bedroom with built-in wardrobes, etc. but there's nothing plugged into them, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get something back working again. Um, I've also confirmed it is a ring. Well, I've confirmed it's a ring on the neutral and the line conductors, not the earth. I've left them, I've left them in for the moment. And yes, it's a ring as we're in about 1.4 ohms on each, on each leg. So that's okay. And so then I did an insulation resistance test. Let's just go on to this one here. And so I just did an insulation resistance test between line and, and earth. And as you can see, it's, it was reading when I did the initial test, everything was all connected and, and everything like that. But what I've since done, I've been down to one of the furthest sockets and I've physically disconnected it. So now I know that the fault is on this side of the ring circuit. And then if I go onto this one and I'll do a test. And again, I'm doing it one hand, so it's not great. And that's reading 321 mega ohms. So at the moment, this side is all okay. This side is the, at fault. So I don't know where the fault is. So we'll just go down to the other end. This is one of the sockets that's on that ring circuit. And as you can see, ignoring the, the green goo on it for now, as you can see, what I've done, I've split it up here. And so that's basically turned the ring circuit into two radial circuits up to this point here. The leg of the ring that hasn't got the fault on, I'm now going to get that, that live. And I'll come back to this one to work out which one is the live one. And then I'll be able to work my way around all of the different sockets until I can work out or roughly locate where the fault is okay so what i've just done i've connected the leg of the ring that had no fault on it i've connected that back up powered that back up and then i've come to this socket here which is the one that i've been working on is the furthest one that i've seen and with my testers i worked out which one was was live because it is a ring and then i've connected them back up and so this side isn't isn't live but the um but this this socket is now live so just to confirm that carefully you can see it's just coming on there again in this room we have a socket down here and we have a socket over there and neither of these ones are working so that tells me that's the faulty leg shall we say and then if we come back into this room <clears throat> there's a socket here and a socket over there and as you can see this one is now working so I'll unplug that and then if we come into this room there's a socket behind here and behind the bed and again this one is working so at the moment so we've got this room that room and that room that room the three bedrooms effectively they are on the leg of the ring circuit that are now working and so basically what I need to do now is from this point here I need to then go across to this one because logically it's going to be connected to this one and it'll come across down to this one so somewhere between that socket this socket and back to the board is going to be the fault one of the problems we do have access to this socket this is a built-in cupboard so that's going to be awkward to do this one shouldn't be too bad, so I'll probably tackle that one as well. If we go back to here, we've also got quite a considerable amount of green goo where the cables were melting, where the PVC obviously it melts and this green goo comes out. So that is going to probably potentially require 
a rewire. Now, it does look quite bad. That's not necessarily what the fault is. I'm just gonna see what we can do to try to get everything working again. So just to say what we've done, we've connected this leg back on and going back to that socket that we've just been to. So that's live. And then the left-hand side of the ring is all working. So the two bedrooms are working um, and only half the sockets in the main bedroom that we've just been in are working. But obviously this side is, has been left disconnected. So if I'm gonna leave it like that for the time being, I would need to replace this 32 amp trip with a 16 or a 20 amp just because it's on um, it's now not a ring circuit it's a radial circuit that is something that we do need to look at doing now one of the things i can confirm these were put in only a year ago um, and as you can see we've got all new cable in here we've got the old red wires there but somehow or somewhere there's going to be connection there's going to be joint boxes up in the roof because obviously it's the original wiring that's in and these have all been connected to new ones so that's going to be something i'm going to have to work out as you can look here there's definitely signs of the green goo the residue there that's coming out it doesn't seem appear to be anything bad on that one but it's going to be something that we're going to have to do look at now another thing is a three-phase supply coming in um, another thing I will say is that my um it was my dad that actually wired this bungalow up he's 78 now and i think he wired this up it was his first house that he ever wired up and he was about 20 i think that he did it all it's not his house it was for for one of his customers and it doesn't look and, and they have lived in it ever since and my dad's always maintained this house but not for the last year or so and he certainly didn't do we haven't put these boards in so so it looks like it is going to potentially need a partial rewire, um, if not a full rewire one. I just don't know. I mean, it just doesn't look in great condition, but I'll be able to tell more when I go up into the roof. So that should be okay when we do that. What we've done, um, because there was a fault and the fault was on this ring circuit, we've turned this circuit now into a radial circuit. So now that's turned on. We've got this bedroom sockets all working again. We've got this bedroom sockets all working again. And we've got that one working. But this one, one down there, and this one isn't working. So for now, I've just put the um, an extension lead across. And so at least the bedside lamp is working. Yeah, so that's now working. Got rid of the fault, got the electrics all working again. And again, because it was a on one of these stupid boards that have got the RCD controlling all these sockets, all, all of the circuits, you lose everything. So the customer's happy now that things are working again, apart from, like I said, the two sockets.